What's up, guys? We're here back in the Fantasy Bar. Six of my favorite plays for you for Week 5 on FanDuel and DraftKings, including my favorite quarterback-receiver pairing, a high-end running back. I think you got to get in your lineup some value at the tight end and running back position. And, of course, my favorite play on the week. Who are we talking about? Belly up to the Fantasy Bar and find out. Welcome in, guys. Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack, the Fantasy Bar, back in action here in Week Five. Six of my favorite plays for you over on FanDuel and DraftKings, and let's start at the wide receiver position with Adam Thielen of the Vikings. So the squeaky wheel definitely in play here. Adam Thielen was not happy after that last game, and how could you be? You know the offense has become very stagnant, especially in the passing game. We did see Stephon Diggs have a decent game against the Chicago Bears, but Adam Thielen was pretty much a forgotten man in that game plan so i think this is a good spot to go back to him the new york giants defense we tried to attack it last week with terry mclaurin he didn't end up playing the point is they are terrible as you see by the graphic fourth most fantasy points allowed to the wide receiver position and i think there's plenty of room here for minnesota for multiple guys to be viable i know dalvin cook going to be a favorite out there and i have no issues with that going back to digs no issues with that but i think the threat of people worrying about they're going to run too much with Cook. Is it going to be Diggs? Is Cousins just going to suck? I think all these factors are going to keep people away from Adam Thielen. When you look at those prices, DraftKings at 6700 fair price. But Fandle, he really stands out as a good value at 6900 Anytime a guy like this is under 7000 on Fandle, I want some exposure, and I'm going to do it this week with Adam Thielen against the Giants. All right, let's get you some value at the tight end position. Ugly position this week. We're going to roll with Noah Fant of the Broncos. So I think it's a good spot to save. If you're not paying up for one of the high-end guys, I'm going to roll with Noah Fant. 2800 on DraftKings can really help you out. Even 4900 on Fandle really going to open up some salary and some possibilities. And you really saw that athleticism on that touchdown run. I mean, we knew this guy was an athletic freak coming out of Iowa, but he really showed it on that run. Joe Flacco threw for over 300 yards in that game against a tough Jacksonville defense and the Chargers not been good against tight ends 25th is where they rank in fantasy points allowed plus that defense banged up right now dealing with a lot of injuries Melvin Ingram the newest injury there I think this defense is going to be one we can pick on people still see it as an elite defense Denver yes they're 0-4 they're desperate I think they're playing from behind a lot of this game. I think no fan can be a big part of that Broncos game plan here against the Chargers and at those prices. Definitely going to be a big part of my game plan here in week five. All right, moving on to pick number three. We're going to go quarterback to Sean Watson of the Texans. So 6,700 on DraftKings, 8K on Fandle. And this is one of those bounce back spots I love to attack. Was very disappointing in week four in that home game against Carolina. The numbers just weren't there for him. But the Atlanta Falcons coming into town, this is a defense I definitely want to get some exposure to. Eighth best quarterback rating, 11th most fantasy points allowed so far this season. And Atlanta defense has not been good. Now you take Keanu Neal out of that defense, I think they're really going to struggle, kind of like we saw last season. Atlanta's allowed 20 or more points in every single game this season. The Tennessee Titans went nuts on this team through the air last week. A lot of run after the catch. I think Deshaun Watson in a great spot here at home. He's been disappointing. No doubt there's other guys that you're going to want to spend on in that range for sure that you feel better about. I love the ceiling here of Deshaun Watson. I'm hoping the ownership stays low here. Great get right spot against the Falcons. All right, moving on. We love Deshaun Watson. What does that mean? Who do we pair him up with? That's right. Let's roll with DeAndre Hopkins this week here in week five. Now another guy that, that disappointed and generally has been a disappointment for most of the season. I had that big game early on, but... It's been ugly ever since. I'm pairing these two up here and expecting some high-end performances here. So easily my favorite quarterback receiver pairing on the week. Make sure you're doing that in all your tournament lineups. No matter the quarterback you're using, get exposure to at least one of his pass catches. But this Houston connection for me is where I want to put my chips in week five. Projected team total of 27 points. Third highest total we have on this 24 team main slate in Atlanta we mentioned the defense being bad giving up a lot of points that secondary has already allowed seven touchdowns to wide receivers again the loss of Keanu Neal can't be underspoken here for the Atlanta Falcons defense love Houston love Hopkins here Paramount Watson it's a lot of money 
I think a lot of people are going to go there. Definitely a spot I want to go. And this team gets right here at home against the Falcons. All right, let's go to running back position, save you some money here. And we're going to go all the way over the pond to London and roll with David Montgomery of the Bears. So easily my favorite value on both sites. 5,200 on DraftKings, 5,700 on FanDuel really stands out. But this guy's coming off season high in 21 carries, had five targets, three catches in that game against a very tough Minnesota defense. Now gets the Oakland Raiders, who have been pretty good against the run. So it's definitely not a cupcake matchup, but I want that volume, especially at 5,700, 5,200. If I'm gonna get 26 opportunities, 24 touches out of a guy, I am all over that. And with Chase Daniel at the quarterback position here in place of Mitchell Trubisky, I think they'll go even more conservative. They want these guys to be game managers. And Chase Daniel did a good job with that last week looking for Montgomery out of the backfield. These games in London can be ugly. The total kind of reflects that. You never know what the weather is going to be here. I think the Bears lean heavily on their defense and their ground game. I'm calling for multiple touchdowns here. Going to go big for David Montgomery, but high expectations here, low price, a lot of touches incoming. What's not the love here against the Raiders with David Montgomery? All right, it's time to take a look at my favorite play on the week. But before we do that, guys, I need a few things from you. First of all, subscribe to the channel. Then you know when the videos are coming out. Makes life easy on you. That's our goal here. So first thing, do that. Next, if you're enjoying the video, you like hitting the fantasy bar each and every week, Click that thumbs up button. That's the tip jar here in this bar. It tells me you're having a good time, and I greatly appreciate it. it. Really helps us out, guys. You guys have been great with the thumbs up, so keep those coming. And as a thank you, just to you guys here watching the video, a special offer for you. Go to rotogrinders.com slash beer. That's going to get you $10 off your first month of Rotogrinders Premium, which gives you access to everything we have, the new Gridiron IQ tool, a definite game changer. So go again and get that off at rotogrinders.com slash beer. A big thank you to you guys for your support here for the Fantasy Bar. And we're going to do it again. Contest time. That's right. Whoever comes closest to my Fantasy Beast of the Week in Fantasy Points on DraftKings is going to win a free week of Rotogrinders Premium. Check things out. Get access to everything. Or if you're already a subscriber, you're going to win a free Roto-Grinders t-shirt, softest t-shirt there is out there. So, absolutely free to play. What you got to do again, comment section, fantasy points on DraftKings for my Beast of the Week. Who is it? Let's take a look right now at the Beast of the Week. All right, Beast time. We owe you one more running back, and there's some tough choices on the high end, but if I'm paying for one guy this week, it's Ezekiel Elliott of the Cowboys this week's Beast of the Week. So again, great choices up top. Christian McCaffrey in a good spot. We already mentioned Alvin Cook, Alvin Kamara. A lot of ways you can go on the high end, but I'm going with Ezekiel Elliott. If you watch that game against the Philadelphia Eagles, the holes that were created were just massive. You could have drove a truck through there. Jordan Howard tore this team up. What is Ezekiel Elliott going to do? The Packers giving up almost 35 PPR points a week, 27 in DVOA against the run. And I know the big left tackle there, Tyron Smith, not expected to play this week for the Dallas Cowboys. I'm not worried about that. Green Bay has become a run funnel. They want to stop the pass. I can see them focusing on Dak, Amari Cooper, and some of the receivers there, which leaves Ezekiel Elliott to have a big day and just checks all the boxes for me. You want a home favorite? You got it here. Dallas about a three and a half point home favorites here. You get a bad run D that we've seen exposed week in and week out. And the Cowboys nice team total projected to score over 25 points in this one. I think they do it on the back of Ezekiel Elliott here. Easily my favorite play for week five in this week's Beast of the Week. All right, guys, that'll do it here in the Fantasy Bar for week five on FanDuel and DraftKings. Any comments, questions, feedback, hit that comment section. Remember, get your votes in for Fantasy Points for Ezekiel Elliott on DraftKings for that free week of Roto-Grinders Premium or that free T-shirt. Go to rotogrinders.com slash beer to claim your $10 off your first month of premium. If you didn't click that thumbs up button, now's the time. Also subscribe to the channel, guys. And I want to finish up by saying thank you to everybody for watching the video. Good, bad, or ugly, I appreciate the comments, the feedback, talking football, guys. So thank you once again. For rotogrinders.com, I am Beer saying salut. Best of luck here in week five. We'll have a Yahoo video if you're playing over there, so keep an eye out for that. If not, we'll see you right back here in week six. Good luck, and we'll see you. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, 
Make sure you check out the current videos playlist.